Welcome back to another video. We are gonna do our summer reading roundup. Uh, maybe not talk about the whole summer because I've already reviewed a lot of those books, but at least do like the last part of July and what I've read so far to end August on because today is the 30th already. So we can definitely talk about what we've read in August because I will not finish another book before tomorrow. First of all, if you've never watched my videos, thank you for coming by to watch. Um, I do not do detailed, in-depth plot reviews because I feel like there are enough of those out there and I don't like spoilers. I'm also not good at remembering people's names, so I'm going to give you my thoughts on these books that I read recently. I set up popping the pictures up on the screen of the books I read because I am not an aesthetically pleasing book reviewer. I don't have every book I've read on a shelf somewhere. I do them all on my Kindle. So what I am going to do this time to switch things up a little bit, I'm going to go to my Goodreads and I'm just going to flash the book up that I've read recently. As always, the number one way you can support me is to actually watch this video the whole way through even if you just need to let it play and not listen to me. That is very supportive and as always, like the video and please subscribe to my channel. Okay, so we are going to start with The Midnight Feast by Lucy Foley. Let me tell you, I had such high hopes for this book and it really let me down. Um, I, I, I did not enjoy this book. I, I thought the story was just so far-fetched, so bleh. I, I feel like that's really all I need to say about this book. I gave it three stars and I feel like that was even pushing it, honestly. I think it was probably more like 2.75. Also, cheers everyone. It is that season where the witch's brew comes out and it's my favorite. Okay, moving on. We don't need to get, that one was just uh, bad. Okay, I'm kind of embarrassed about it. It was like four stars for me, Tangled in Tangled Up in You by Christina Lauren, and the co-authors. Um, this is a retelling of Tangled in a more modern day situation. I don't know. I think this was just really cutesy and not too crazy. I don't know. They just, they had a good relationship. It was like a good enemies to lovers situation. A super innocent girl falling for a very not so innocent guy. Great relationship. Um, I gave it a four star. I think that's fair. Maybe 3.75 because there's just not much to it, but four star, we'll say. Um, there was something else I was going to say about the book. Okay, okay. Oh, I think I enjoyed it so much because I had just read The Midnight Feast and it was so bad and Swan Song I did not enjoy and Seven Summer Weekends was a, like, I just had a lot of books back to back to back that just weren't hitting. And so I think that's why I just really enjoyed the simplicity and ease of that book. And sometimes that's just really what you want. Okay, the next two books I read were by Catherine Center. It was The Rom-Commers and The Bodyguard. The Rom-Commers um, was a four star for me. I really enjoyed this book i i enjoyed their relationship their dynamic they're getting to know each other help each other out um she is hired to help him write a movie and it has to be a rom-com and he's not used to that so all that goes together <laughs> i don't know i just really enjoyed it i loved how like neurotics i don't feel like neurotics there which is just kind of crazy and i loved it like herself compared to like this kind of uptight movie star dude so Oh no, I enjoyed that book. It was four stars for me. The Bodyguard was a three stars for me. This one was just kind of, I had such a hard time like believing so many parts of the storyline. And I know these rom-coms are not always that supposed to be that believable. That's kind of the point. This one was just like, bad. there was so much of it like that would literally never happen in real life. That's not even possible. But there were still parts I enjoyed. The Lost Story. This was another one that I had such high hopes for. If you re if you watched any of my previous, if you watched my previous book review video, I read The Wishing Game. The book rocked my world. It was like a six out of five for me. I was not expecting to enjoy the book as much as I did. I loved it. So I was so excited to see that Meg Schaefer had a new book coming out this summer. I was highly, highly anticipating this. And this book was a three star for me and that was just so hard for me to get behind. I um, 
sorry i realized me holding my phone up doing this is was really not a great idea um because of the glares but that's okay we're we're here now um this book had such high hopes it had such potential um i flew through the first 30 percent of this book i was like really pulled in i was like oh my god this is actually going to be amazing and then it just whoosh, real fast um i think when i thought it was kind of going to be more the line more along the lines of solving a crime with missing people i was a little more into it and i'm sorry this might be a spoiler for this book that part's not but i'm trying to word okay i think you know this if you read the back of the book i thought this was i don't read about books by the way before i read them I have no idea what story I'm getting into. I just like it that way. I want to be surprised. I would just want to go into the book and I like to know the genre and that's pretty much it. Um, so I thought, I think I loved the beginning of the story so much just because it was about a couple who stumbles upon two missing boys. And I thought it was going to kind of be about that journey of finding them and what really happened, which you do find out what really happened. But it's about a magical world, like Chronicles of Narnia once they got to this magical world that was it it fell so flat it was just a dull storyline to me and i did not enjoy it like i said it was a very big disappointment out of how much after how much i love the wishing game and yeah maybe three star <laughs> all right the next one is the one with the kiss cam by cindy still okay so next this is that one's very that's hard to see i might have to put a picture of that one up okay the one with the kiss cam um by cindy so my friend sent me this and she was like i think you'll really enjoy this book it's a very easy simple read and it's pretty close to a romance which is what i prefer which is so funny because if you would ask me that five years ago i would have been like i don't care at all but i'm just more of a closed door romance girl these days and this book was so cute i thought it was so unique um yeah i just i don't know i I thought it was so cute. I thought it was unique. Um, a girl is on a blind date with a guy who like ends up being like the biggest dud, but she feels bad. and wants to. She wants to sit through the misery of this blind date because he took her to a basketball game, which she'd always wanted to go to at, for this particular professional team in place. And she ends up getting on the kiss cam with another dude, and they decided to just go for it because everyone's pressuring them and yeah they go their separate ways and then meet back up in a way that i don't want to say and i think i enjoyed this book so much because there wasn't the pressure of a relationship immediately this relationship was built so much more on building a friendship and trust and just him really supporting what she wished more wanted and her trying to fight it and I don't know, it was just really good it was really cute really simple if you're just looking for a good light-hearted read that was a good four star for me. Next two books I want to talk about are by Vari McFarland. She's a UK author, I believe, somewhere in the UK. Vari McFarland. I read two of her books recently, and one was Just Last Night, and then Between Us. Um, okay, so that was Just Last Night, Between Us. Um, I this was these were such interesting reads for me so i read just last night first and when i first opened this book i was thinking i don't know if this is gonna be for me but i really want to give it a chance because i do love a good uk scottish irish like european book i just think they're cozy when you read them you feel a little more sophisticated getting to use like their language and their banter and stuff like that but this was like truly authentic cultural language um for where they're located and that takes a while to get into because some of the phrases they say you have absolutely no idea what they mean so it took me a while to get into the storyline and really understand her style of writing and what she was saying some things i'd even have to like hold down on my kindle and get the definition for but once i learned her writing style and the language i loved both of these books so much um just like last night actually made me cry a couple times <laughs> just like last night is a truly like oh in both books you're following a friend group and they're like these friends who have grown together and are continuing to grow and develop together from young adulthood to adulthood adult like mid-30s and stuff and 
just last night there is a tragic accident that and this isn't a spoiler because it's the very first thing you read in the book um where there's a death within the within the group and when you discover more about the death that's when it just like got me and so she builds a relationship while dealing with this death um that's just really fun to witness and watch unfold and watch them both grow and I say both of these books are literary fiction with a subplot of romance. I don't, I think when you see the covers, you're like, oh, those are romance books. Oh, those are probably rom-coms. No, both of these are literary fictions with the subplot of romance and they have very serious um, subjects and things that could possibly be trigger warnings for people, honestly. Um, I don't know. The second book um, that I read of hers, Between Us, I really enjoyed. It was the same thing. It took me a bit to get into um i like to give myself to like 20 percent before i decide if a book is good or not and that's kind of how long it took me to get into the language style of her book but man once this story was like really unfolding i was hooked and i could not stop reading i could not stop thinking about these characters she makes me feel emotion in such a crazy way like the second book this girl founds out um it's another friend group and there's a couple in the friend group and she finds out a secret about her boyfriend and the rage you feel for her and you just feel it and then the way her friends support her you also feel it and you're laughing and it's just so good i'm gonna read a quote like from both of these books because <laughs> just so you can get a sense of her writing style i don't know i really liked it oh i'm a bag of ants so what must you be like like i've never heard someone use that phrase when they're talking about being nervous love was not meant to be balanced transfers and then she hadn't realized how broken she was until someone acknowledged it i don't know i just really really enjoy her writing style and those were from between us this is from just last night that's an inactive amygdala if i ever saw one like i don't know why that is comical to me it just is i really like and then this was like some bantering dialogue and stuff and the guy just said overall i didn't enjoy that and i that does not seem funny saying it out loud you'd have to read it to get it i was just laughing out loud but anyways that's an inactive amygdala if i ever saw one i just love her writing style and the witty phrases and the dynamic between the friendships her writing is just so good and i don't think she's talked about it enough i actually found out about her through Haley fam who is a book reviewer a big book reviewer she's like the only person i've heard talk about this author which is so shocking to me with how much book like or how good her writing is and how much i enjoyed her i feel like more people would be talking about her so that was that i read the fiance dilemma by elena arma armas i feel like i say her name i know i'm saying her name arma armas she's the author of the spanish love deception which i absolutely love that book was so funny to me i gave this book a four star um we follow josie which is like the mayor of the town and the girl from the first book her best friend we follow their relationship in this book um their fake relationship if you will i don't know it was cute small town nothing crazy but it was a good easy read i'd give it like a 3.75 four stars i don't want to say anything else. like it's just that's just a simple rom-com cool this next book though this this last book i have to talk about love interest by claire gilmore easily five stars i didn't expect to love this book this much i did not want to put this down i read this so fast this was the perfect summer to fall transition book it's based in new york and a lot of new york books just give that cozy feel and a lot of what's happening in this book takes takes place between like you know fall and winter um you've got two corporate people who were competing for the same job one gets it one doesn't and they still have to work together and build a relationship enemies to lovers and this is kind of the same thing where they really just became good friends and you watch the male lead like really support her and her support him it's just in a friendship way and then it develops and i don't know i really loved that i loved the way they talked to each other i thought it was just I don't know one of those things where I was just like eh, laughing squealing could wait for the next part I wonder if I highlighted anything in this one I didn't um I need to be better at highlighting things but yes yeah, so those are the books I've read to end the summer now I'm excited to get into 
the fall season and more cozy reads let me know if you've read any of those and what you think and let me know what's on your fall tbr because i am building mine and i have so many books that i've saved from since the beginning of the year that i was like i am not reading that until the fall i'm excited to get into new fall cozy fall cozy fall thriller i'm just excited for this new season i'm not a summer person and yeah fall and winter are my jam so i am ready for august to be over and that's it for august i'll see you guys in the next video please like it please comment subscribe do all the things and i'll see you guys on the next video